Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, we are going to learn about the greedy algorithm, the general principle of greedy algorithm, how it is going to work, what exactly is this greedy algorithm and what are the different applications we have for this greedy algorithm. We are going to learn all these topics. Okay, so let's get into the uh, video and uh, first of all, what is a greedy algorithm? It is a problem a solving strategy same like divide and conquer dynamic programming backtracking branch and bound like you have different types of uh, algorithm solving uh, problem solving techniques right like in divide and conquer what you will do you will first divide the problem into number of subparts and you will solve each and every subpart and then you will combine all these solutions right in the backtracking what you will do you will go backwards so in the same way in the greedy algorithm what we will do let's see exactly okay it is used for solving optimization problem what do you mean by uh, this word optimization optimization problem in the sense where you want either minimum or maximum results where you want the best results it could be either minimum or it could be maximum minimum means what what a mini if it is having minimum cost we call it as a best solution right if it is having maximum cost instead it is not called as a best solution minimum cost and when it comes to profits profits should always be maximum cost should always be minimum right so when you want to solve problems which are wanting you to find out a solution within low cost or which where you wanted to find out the solution which has the maximum cost in those sorry maximum profit in those kind of scenarios you can go for this greedy uh, algorithm so how do you solve this what you will do is a problem should be solved in multiple stages like in each and every stage suppose you start from point a from point a you'll have to go to let's say um point b sorry uh, yeah point a to point b point c and there you have to go to point d so from a where you have to go you have to go to b or you have to go to c you have to make decisions at each and every stage depending upon some parameters so there are different algorithms for different algorithms you'll have different parameters like for example we have if, if for, for some exam for some algorithms you'll have to consider cost for some you have to consider the distance for some you have to consider the profit for some you have to consider the time so depending on some different parameters you will have to make a decision at each and every step at each and every stage you will make your own decisions and that is why it is called as a greedy approach don't worry uh, this might sound little theoretical or little little nonsense for you don't worry about that uh, you'll get to know uh, very uh, well in the example so we have different uh, algorithms in this like we have the job sequencing with deadlines we have knapsack problem um, we also have the minimum cost uh, spanning tree uh, we have the single source shortest path problem and we also have the critical algorithm we are going to learn about all these things but since i always say i follow the jntu head syllabus so that is why we will be learning about the first one job sequencing with deadlines knapsack problem minimum cost spanning tree problem and the single source shortest path problem okay Kruskal's algorithm is not explicitly mentioned in the syllabus if time permits i'll try to cover that as well not a problem okay but we are going to learn about these four topics knapsack problem we have already seen in the dynamic programming we have seen i think we have already seen that in the branch and bound also like we see zero by one knapsack problem all those problems right so same knapsack problem you'll have here also but you will be solving it using the greedy method approach okay so yeah this is all about this video guys a very quick small introduction video for the greedy uh, algorithm so it is basically a problem solving strategy only same like divide and conquer dynamic programming branch and bound etc it is mainly used for solving the optimization problem what do you mean by optimization problems where you get minimum or maximum results those kind of problems are called optimization problems and at each and every stage of the algorithm you will make your own decisions okay cool so these are the applications of the greedy algorithm got it so i hope everybody is clear uh, with this video uh, let's meet up soon in the next coming videos uh, starting with the applications of these algorithms thanks for watching the video till the end have a good day